All right, in this uh, video, we're going to take a look at an individual derivative. It is going to include a product, the product rule, because I've got sine of 2x here times the cosine of 3x, so I am going to use product rule. All right, and because these trig functions, we've got a sine as the outside function, we have a 2x as the inside function, same thing over here, that 3x is on the inside, outside function is cosine, so we will be needing um, chain. All right, so uh, if we're going to start with product rule, we're going to take the sine of that 2x and then multiply it. I'm going to go ahead and use the ddx notation, so we'll have that ddx, the derivative of the second function, cosine of 3x. We will add to that the second function, cosine of 3x, and then times the derivative, so I'll use that ddx notation of the first function. All right, now you don't have to write out that first line, all right, but doing that kind of outlines the product rule for you, so you're less likely to make a mistake here. All right, so that sine of 2x is just going to stay the way it is. All right, so here I'm going to take the derivative of the outside function, so derivative of cosine is a minus sine. I'm going to leave the inside function alone, and then here's the chain. Take the derivative, we'll go ahead and do another ddx of that inside function. Yes, you could have gone ahead and just straight taken the derivative there, but this definitely shows that chain right there. All right, then we'll have the cosine of that 3x. We're going to leave it alone. And taking the derivative of our sine right there is going to be cosine, leaving the inside function alone, and then times the chain ddx of that 2x. All right, so on this um, last line here, the only thing I'm going to do is take those last two derivatives. Um, so let's have a sine of 2x here times the negative sine of the 3x, and then times that derivative there, which is just going to be a 3. We'll go ahead and have this here, cosine of a 3x times cosine of a 2x, and then taking the derivative right there, we'll have the derivative times 2. Okay. So now, really, um, we can't really do anything with this because this is the sine of 2x, this is sine of 3x, same thing over here. So about the only thing I can do to clean this up would be to move the 2 in front, move the 2 in front, and possibly with this being a minus so that you don't have a leading negative coefficient, it would be okay to write this one first. So we could do like a 2 cosine of 3x cosine of 2x, putting that in front, and then making this just a minus 3 sine 2x, and then sine 3x. All right, not that that is a requirement by any means, but sometimes not having a negative leading coefficient there in front makes it a little bit nicer. So definitely a straightforward uh, product rule derivative that also includes chain and with some trig functions. So calc one, definitely. Um, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.